What's going on Paranormal World? So I just wanted to do a quick discussion about this exclusive series on Discovery Plus, Ghost Adventures Top 10. So far I only watched one episode and this episode focused on the top 10 ghosts caught on camera and the fans voted on these moments. Number 10 was the capture of Roy at the Rolling Hills Asylum and this teenager who suffered from giganticism he was very educated and he loved opera music <laughs> and opera music in itself is very creepy but anyway this ranked number 10 and if you all remember this episode they definitely captured a figure that had the same size and stature as Roy and it was very creepy but I have no complaints on where this is ranked in this top 10 next we have the Winchester Mystery House and Zach captured the orb that manifest into a hand and it really didn't look like a hand to me but Zach took it and ran with it and honestly it shouldn't even be on the list and I can't believe fans voted that one in especially at number nine at number eight we have the Lewis flat school and this is where they captured a shadowy figure in the window and I always was skeptical about this personally and I don't know it just looked too human for me not saying it wasn't real but then again, it should be in the top 10 if it was actually real. So I'm not going to have any complaints about that one. And next is a popular location, the Queen Mary in the Boiler Room. Now, at this location, they captured a full body apparition. And this was the most complete <laughs> full body apparition they ever caught, in my opinion. And it definitely got chills from me watching this over again. But, you know, uh, it's hard to say what's real and what's not because some of these shadowy figures are just, I don't know, they look like a person, <laughs> like a person that's on the crew. But anyway, next up, we have the Franklin Castle, and this is where they captured the alien head figure, and this is one that I didn't believe. And it looked too fake and produced, and just my opinion. And just like I mentioned previously, it just looks like the camera crew is just going behind these windows and walking past. I don't know. <laughs> um, like I said, I do believe certain stuff and other stuff. It makes me scratch my head like, hmm, that's very convenient. But guess what's number five, y'all? Bobby Mackey's Music World, The Cowboy Ghost. How in the world did fans rank this number five? Anything to do with Bobby Mackey's has to be top three. <laughs> That's the rule. Anything involving Bobby Mackey's music world has to be top three. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, Bobby Mackey's music world, that episode is legendary, especially when they captured that figure. And I honestly always thought that that was real and no one can convince me otherwise. But anyway, on to number four to this prison in Arizona. I forgot the specific location, um, so forgive me on that. But anyway, and this is where they captured figures on the SLS camera. And to be honest, this shouldn't even be on the list because SLS camera captures are not the same as a full body apparition or apparitions. So I don't even know why the fans voted that in or why it even qualified, but I get what Zach was trying to do. Um, but number three, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the engine house. Now, it looks like a Civil War soldier um, is walking in the distance with his gun after Zack had shot off his gun. And this possibly could have been a Civil War soldier. And I don't know, it's iffy. It's iffy <laughs> because it's, it looks too solid for me. But at the same time, I trust those thermal imaging cameras. And by the way, I love that Gettysburg episode, man. That was one of the best ones. Leave a like down below if you agree with that. But on to number two, the first Ghost Adventure special. And we all remember this. And do y'all remember when the ghost figure walked past the window? Yep. And I got a whole video on here debunking that. I don't know, man. It just seems like they was putting too much emphasis on the window in the background. Even Nick walked back and forth to like prove to y'all that, hey, I'm right here and I'm solid. And then next thing you know, the ghost walked past and is like transparent and kind of clear so it was like they were setting that up so that's why i really don't believe it but i do have a video on my channel anyway number one 
Sarah Goro Ghost Town, and this is a recent one, and this is definitely a top five moment for me, maybe top three, but I don't think it's number one, but it could be debatable to some people, and I love this because I actually think it's a ghost, and it's very creepy considering it was outside and, you know, the miners, that was a miner town, and could that be a lost soul re-emerging into present time from the past? Overall, this top 10 episode was kind of all over the place. I didn't agree with most of the placement of these episodes and these ghostly figures, but hey, what are you going to do? What do you all think about this top 10 list? Do you agree with the Ghost Adventure fans? Did the Ghost Adventure fans that vote get it right? What's your top 10? And if you love discussions like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you can see every time I upload, especially if you want to stay up to date with Ghost Adventure news and topics and discussions. As always, be safe. Peace.